Welcome back to Rick's Reflections, where we take a look at the upcoming Sunday Gospel reading and see how it applies to our lives today. This Sunday is Palm Sunday, also referred to as Passion Sunday. So in the Gospel, we are going to hear the account of the Passion of our Lord. We're going to journey with Him through the last 18 plus hours of His life. This is always the most difficult Sunday for me because in a lot of churches that I've been in, we participate in the reading, where when it's time for Jesus to be gathered in front of the crowds and offered either him or Barabbas to go free and the people choose Barabbas, and then comes the part where we play as the role of the crowd, where we say, crucify him, crucify him. This is always so difficult for me because I would like to think that if I were in that crowd, I would be one of those that would have stood up for Jesus. I would have been one of those who never would have said crucify him. I'd have been fighting for his freedom. But if I'm honest, if we're honest, a lot of times even now when we're not faced with a life or death situation where our life and death isn't on the line, we still don't choose Jesus. We still choose Barabbas over Jesus. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, we choose the ways of the world, the ways of selfishness over the ways of Christ and the ways of giving and giving everything. You know, again, I'd like to think that if I were in that crowd, I wouldn't participate in this brutal act, yet the reality is this brutal act happened because I actively participate in it every day. Every day I choose sin over salvation. This Sunday when we listen to this gospel reading, may we reflect deeply on our lives in those areas, maybe even in those dark corners that we don't open up to anybody, not even God. We reflect, we look at it, and we ask ourselves, are we choosing sin or will we choose salvation? I pray that this Palm Sunday, both you and I reflect deeply on our lives. And don't just stop at reflecting, but then we move forward and we move forward with Christ. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time on Rick's Reflections.